Welcome to the Terrible Take, a mini podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our minds. I'm Joe Clark. The smartest thing the Pittsburgh Steelers have done this season is insert Broderick Jones into the starting lineup. Whether or not it was truly because Chikuma or Korfor said something that annoyed Tomlin doesn't matter. What matters is that they made the decision to start Jones, and it's paid off in a really big way. We thought the identity of the Steelers team all season was going to be a team that could run the ball and beat teams with Jalen Warren and Najee Harris. For most of the first half of the season, that wasn't happening. But the run game finally found success in Week 9 against Tennessee, the first game with Jones starting, and that success has carried over, with the team running for over 150-plus yards now in four straight games. Jones' athleticism allows him to climb to the second level on blocks, and he's just a really talented and powerful run blocker. He's been a catalyst to getting the run game off the ground in Pittsburgh, and now it's a part of their offense that's a legitimate weapon. Jones and Harris have both had their moments, and they've both been impressive over the last few games. If Kenny Pickett can play the way he did against Cincinnati, and the run game continues to play the way they have over the past few weeks, this is an offense that could end up looking okay after a really rough start to the season. Jones is shown why he was a first-round pick, and even at a position that's unnatural to him, he's proven to be a really key piece of the Steelers' offensive line. Hopefully, that keeps up and the run game and offense continues to improve. Be sure to follow us at SailorsDebo.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with Alex Kazor and Dave Bryan every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Go Steelers!